All right, so here I am in the attic, okay? Now I pulled back this piece of insulation here, right over here, and what you can see is that this is the beadboard ceiling, and it's all tongue and groove. And there's a, a gap where a, a drywall sheeting comes up to the top plate. Um, this would be the top plate of the wall um, uh, for the, 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 the bedroom. Um, so you can see that this is all just tongue and groove all the way across. The entirety of the roof, or the ceiling, is done that way. Now looking up here at this roof sheathing, it looks pretty much to be just standard OSB to me. Um, you can see the, the, the nails for the, for the shingles for the roofing material coming through. Um, if that were a thick and insulated foam, um, that those, those nails would not come through like that. Um, so, you know, in looking closely at it, I mean, I can see right through there, I can see the tar paper through that gap on the other side. Um, so I don't know what, uh, I don't know what, what, uh, it was supposed to be, but it doesn't appear to be anything like that. So the situation is, okay, I just came up, it's a cold day, and, uh, I just came up into the attic, and it's, uh, it's cold up here. It's, I mean, here it's, you know, the temperature of outside. This is a vented attic space. Um, so what you've got is this insulation is on your ceiling, and that's supposed to be insulating, right? But we've talked about this already. You've got conductive heat loss and convective heat loss, and the conductive heat loss is what the fiberglass insulation is supposed to be stopping. But the convective heat loss, fiberglass insulation does absolutely nothing for. So that's why moving the insulated, uh, the, the thermal barrier of the building, to the roof sheathing in this particular instance is going to be put you way ahead of the game. Um, so you put the insulation up on the OSB that we just showed, and that way, if air does infiltrate in and out through the beadboard, it doesn't make any difference because it's not going anywhere. It doesn't have anywhere to go because this will cease to be a ventilated attic. And what will happen is that the insulation, which is spray foam, bio-based spray foam, will air seal as well as insulate. And, um, you know, you've got your ductwork up here. Um, that's a good idea to keep out of the unconditioned space. Uh, you've got an air handler and um, lots of equipment up here. And it, those all function much better if they're folded into the, the conditioned space inside the building envelope, as it were. Um, so I think you'll, 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 you'll get a lot of gain because the amount of leakage between each and every tongue and groove board is not huge. But if there's a little here and a little here and a little here and a little here, and ultimately there's a little bit everywhere, then that adds up to a lot. It's going to be like leaving a window open. You know? So um, this will definitely improve the comfort, and I'm sure it'll get us way up above the 50 Pascal that we were looking for, which thus far we've gotten to 49. So we've got the spray foam crew down in the basement doing the basement walls and the band joist and the chimney, the inside of the chimney surround. So it should, we should get to 50 as a result of that and beyond. But if you do uh, fold the, the envelope, fold the, the attic space into the envelope, it's, it's going to jump up, I think. Okay, thanks.